Hi everyone, welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and the finale of my 56 Ford pickup truck build. I'm telling you, I had a blast with this kit. Chad, thank you very much. I would have never thought I would do this kit again. I did it, I know, when I was little because I remember doing the doors and mutilating them. But what a great kit. I mean, this kit's been around probably close to as long as I have. <laughs> in one form or another, and in one box looking at it by another. I wasn't sure about those rims, but now I love them. They are so cool with that burnt orange paint. I'm calling it burnt orange. It was supposed to be candy apple. Probably three more coats it would have been, but I would have lost too much detail. But, man, I... I, I'm actually happy with, with what I did with it. I think the, the orange looks better than the red would have, to be honest with you. So check this out. On top of everything else on this old kit, they made these things where the doors would open. So while the doors open, let's take a quick look inside. Look at how nice that interior is. I'm telling you, like I, I keep telling myself, this is an old kit. And it's, it's awesome. I put a cue ball stick shifter on there. I always wanted one of those in my Firebird and never spent the money to take the T-stick out. But check it out, man. This is this is outstanding. And like I said, for an old kit, it's still in pretty good shape. The mold is. Didn't have much flash. The only problems I had is when I was finally finished with it and got everything put together and test fitted for 9 million times. For some reason, when it went together the final time, this hood will not line up. And I think it's because the glass is messing up where the hood pins are when it's closed i think it's hitting the glass uh, or and just not letting it sit right on the top but you know what that's okay because let me bring it back and we'll look at the engine and go from there okay here's the front end of this beast and look at the detail on that that's molded in i made a mistake there cutting it off I should have cut that with a saw and then filed it instead of my clippers. And when I did my clippers, it, it popped it. And I know if I tried to build that up, it would just burst out. So I left it. Figured, hey, this is a 56, man. It's going to have a ding somewhere. That's probably where my frickin' forehead would have gotten hit anyhow. But look at the, the molding of that uh, emblem on there. But let's drop down to where the, the engine is. Because again, I am impressed as all sin with this engine. Nice detailing. I tried several, several different ways to highlight that uh, Thunderbird that goes across the valve covers and decided just leave it chrome. So that's where we are. I did add the uh, heater hoses, like I said I would. The fuel lines on there. Don't know if you can see it or not, but the dipstick's in there, right around there. Fuel line comes across and up. There it goes to the front end of the back of the bowl. And then bring it around the other side of the engine, and we have our throttle return spring and throttle cable going back. So that's all the detailing I had to do to this engine. It, it looked good on its own. I did make a bracket for the radiator, or the... Uh, generator because it was just hanging out into the nowhere space so there's the front end the headlights came off fantastic that's with that uh that new stuff i used i did a video on it with uh the camaro and i used it on the, the big lenses i also used it to glue in the glass on here and it, it worked really well. The glass is nice and tight. So let me bring it back with the uh, back end of this beast. Okay. 
Here's the tub. Look at how nice the detail is on that tailgate. I bet you in real life that tailgate weighed 80 pounds too. Um, I had some anchor chain from a 1 350th build. So I made the uh, chains coming off of the tailgate to hold it flat open. I also drilled out the pipes before I added them, but that's just, I do that all the time. But what I am more happy about than anything is that oak boards in there. <laughs> that came out really good. And that's Tamiya paint, uh, NATO brown, and khaki. And just a couple of different colors of that. And then on top of that, I did um, a wash real quick with some... Uh, acrylic black that I use on all kinds of stuff. It's the same stuff I use for the uh, the interior and underneath the hood. I mixed it with water. I put it on there. I let it dry for a little while and then I wiped it off with a q-tip and that gave me that highlighted grain look. So worked out great. Look at the interior from through that window. And like I said that window was put on there with that new What's this stuff called? It's right over here. Oh, quick shine. <laughs> Sorry about the camera. Uh, that's with the quick shine, and it worked out great. So, again, old kit, fit well. The tailgate will open, but in order to open the tailgate, you have to flex the sides out so that they come past the pins. And I just don't want to flex those sides out. I did it three or four times because I'm a little kid and I had to play. But I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm afraid I'm going to break something off, especially these two pieces. I painted those two chrome, the supports for it. I think they came out good. This turn signal is wonky on here. And the reason is, is it didn't have a pin to go inside. So I sanded it off flat and glued it on with the, the best super glue I have. It looked good. When I came down the next day, it was tilted. So I'm figuring it's a 1956. Somewhere along the line, he backed into something and bent it, or one of the kids stepped on it to try to get inside the bed and bent it. And that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. So give me a minute. I'll bring you around the other side. Last but not least, we're on the passenger side. I can't tell you how many times I dropped that little tiny piece for the uh, fuel fill. <laughs> Once was in the carpet, and it took me 15 minutes to find it there. But check out the detail on, there it is, on the, head, the, the hood. That's a, that's a chrome piece. I used uh, Tamiya's clear red on it, and in the Ford area... I use Tamiya's panel liner on the little lines to highlight it. Let's see if I can draw that in. To hide, there we go. To highlight it and just make it pop. Look at how nice that engine is in there. Dang it, guys. Like I said, this kit's almost as old as I am. This door, like the other one, opens. It doesn't close as well. Not sure why, but I'm going to blame it on me and not the kit. The interior again from this side. Let me draw it in. Wow, let's get inside there. I am happy. This came out great. Hey, thanks for everybody for all your subscriptions and likes and everything. That's really helping my channel out. And I think we're going to keep on rolling with this and, and going where we're going with it. Because I'm having fun and it seems like a lot of people are too. So this is it. All done. What a blast of a truck. Thanks again, Chad. I can't tell you enough how much I like the building this. So next I have a uh, cruiser ship that I have to build for a buddy of mine's daughter who's serving right now on it. That's going to take me about a month to do. And I'm going to do some videos on that, too, because I'm going to wire it and everything. So don't think I'm giving up on cars. I do have my 67 Chevelle that I can't wait to get my fingers on. And I want to get a Roadster. I, I've wanted to do a rat rod for the longest time. So 
we're gonna we're gonna get one of those two and do it and a whole bunch of other things but right now i can hear the dogs upstairs getting a little antsy so we're gonna leave you with this i am mark and this is grandpa mark's hobbies you all have a great day